Hi everyone and welcome to today's quick fix. I'm introducing you to the four new brushes that I'm now selling. Um, they are four brushes that will have definitely turned up in our YouTube tutorials before um, and so I'm just so thrilled that I'm actually able to give you a place to buy them yourselves. So the first one we're going to look at is the mop brush. For me I like this size 6 size just because I don't paint huge paintings um, and I want to make sure that the brushes that I sell you are the best ones to be able to paint the kind of paintings that I do. So the mop brush is um, pretty much self-explanatory. It mops up water very easily. There's so much, there's so much bristle there. Um, and then it sweeps it down really beautifully and you can sort of cover a whole page without having to keep on going back into your jar of water. Um, it's so silky and smooth, I absolutely love it. Um, of course, you can just use it for just wetting the page, or of course, it can pick up color really beautifully as well, sort of, obviously it's a bit bigger, so getting it stuck in your, in your palette well just takes a little bit more time, but you can get it sweeping colour across the page really beautifully. Um, so the mop brush I've got for you here is called Sable-esque, which means it's a mixture of synthetic sable-like bristles and some real sable too. It's the only brush I use that actually does include some real sable. Um, and I have looked um, at brands at uh, mops brushes that are entirely synthetic but they just don't quite cut it for me so I have gone for this one. Um, so that is the first brush and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's also nice to hold, nice thick handle, um, it's really fantastic quality and it's going to be around for a while. Look at how my paper is bowed up right now. Okay, so the next brush I want to talk to you about is the Flathead One Wash Sabline. Sabline means synthetic sable-like bristles. Um, but the Flathead brush, well what's it useful for? Well for a starter, it's actually, it's a lot more versatile than it seems. So I've, I've painted this kind of sunset sky because I want to be able to show you that if you can use it sort of to actually create rather wonderful sort of textures and sort of cloudy skies by using the sort of twizzling of the flathead brush here. And it, again, it's, it's nice and large, it covers large areas, it's really wonderful. But really what we use the flathead brush for as well is that lovely crisp right angle that it gives us. So being able to paint lovely straight lines, nice corners, creating edges like that, but also then being able to blend in beautifully and just get that lovely control. But also, this week I've been showcasing the brushes in a few different techniques. If you had a sort of a house with a chimney and all this kind of thing, um, if you're doing a wash around the edge of something like that, actually getting that flat head, you can get in there. And then get that nice sort of decent straight edge um, whilst also doing it in as few brush strokes as possible because I think we all you know we're all big fans of the Pro Art Master Stroke pointed rounds and they're great and they could do that really well but what they can't do is then cover that area really quickly and smoothly and when you're working on larger pieces a bit like this is one I did for my Patreons um, a few months ago um, this kind of larger area you just wouldn't hope to even get that far um, with the smaller pointed round brushes. So that's why I'm showing you these larger brushes. I also just want to show you how that sky is just drying because it looks really cool. Anyway, so that is that brush there. Then we've got 
a pointed round size 12 from the uh, Pro Art series 110. They're just a bit larger. And the beauty of this brush is that we've still got the, the premise of a nice sort of large bristle with a fine point on the end of the brush, allowing you to paint beautiful petals. I mean, look at those, they're just stunning. All in one brush stroke. Now again, when we're working with our Pro Up pointed rounds, the smaller ones, they're brilliant, but they can't create a petal this size in a single brush stroke. But then also, it's dainty enough to be able to do lovely sort of fine details and dots. Not that this is a particularly fine detail right now, but you can get nice thin lines. And that's just amazing, a brush that size that can do both that and that. And have you ever seen a smoother blend? So that is another fantastic one. And just as a few examples, um, you could paint these in that. It's such a simple, quick way, um, just without having to do too many brush strokes. And I know that a lot of you talk to me about struggling to get your blends nice and smooth. And that will be down to too many brush strokes with the brush. And picking up yourself one of these slightly larger ones is going to allow you to do a lot more in a lot less time. And then finally, the size zero rigger brush. Now, if you want a fine line, this is your one, but it's not just about a fine line. It's about a long, continuous fine line. Um, this week on YouTube, I painted these boats on the water and the rigging, the lines there are all done with this rigger brush. I wonder if rigging and rigger brush have something, maybe there's, maybe it's not a coincidence, but anyway, what I want to show you is also how useful it can be for botanical painting as well. So just look at how slender that line is. And then it does actually have the capability to give you a little bit of a fine leaf as well. I'm holding the brush really quite vertically, but you'd be amazed by the control you can get. I think a lot of people are a bit scared of brushes like these because it just feels a little bit loopy and wayward, but actually you can just create the most beautiful things. I think the common theme with these four brushes is that they allow you to do what the Pro Art Master Stroke brushes can do with maybe a few brush strokes or a bit of effort. These ones do effortlessly. I think I described them earlier in the week as kind of shortcut brushes. They'll do what you need them to do and they'll do it with absolute mastery. So these four brushes are now available in my website shop and on my Etsy shop. You can either buy them as a set or individually, because I know some of you will already have maybe one or two of these. But these are the four extra brushes that I would recommend getting alongside my Pro Art Masterstroke ones to have everything you need to paint with me. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.